welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome to this week's grocery haul. Um, tried to go back down to my budget, but I did go over a little bit because I needed a new winter jacket. So yeah, that kind of put me over a little bit, but <laughs> not by too much. But anyways, we are doing Walmart grocery pickup today. So I'm about to go over there and pick that up and then we'll come home, set everything up and get it ready for you all. And then I will be back to show you everything that we got. But as you can tell, I did get some new spectacles. <laughs> I actually got two new pair. Um, they were sent to me by the company called Zimpf. Um, so I will have all their information and everything in my description box below, but I have wore them for about almost a week now, Monday or Tuesday, it'll be a week, I think. All I know is I've worn them for a couple of days, but they sent me this pair and then I also got a pair of prescription sunglasses. Um, really good quality, very, very clear lenses. I haven't had no issues with them, but I love them and I'm really thankful to them for sending me these, but they are going to give me a code where you can go check out everything and they are wonderful glasses. Great material, great, great, great quality and everything. I do love those. I've never had a prescription sunglasses before, but I will show you those when I get into the car. Um, they're clip ones. It's not this pair. These are just my regular ones, but um, the sunglass pair is clip ones. So they kind of just clip over the glasses. But anyways, I was so excited that they reached out to me, um, wanting me to do a review of their product for them. I do stand behind these. They are great quality. Like I said, they are, I don't know. They're just really good quality. I love the designs. Everything about them is great and wonderful. So I'll have their information in my description box below. But anyways, we need to go ahead and get onto the grocery store and pick up our groceries for the week. I will also have my meal plan included in this. So probably going to be quick and easy dinners this week um, because we're still working on leftovers from Thanksgiving. I don't know about you all, but yes, we are. So anywho, let's go shopping y'all. y'all so we are here at walmart these are the glasses that the company zimp sent me and that's what i was telling you about Whoop. well they came off really fast but anyways these were the prescription sunglasses so these are actually just regular sunglasses i know the sun's probably interfering with them but um these are just the sunglasses and these like slip over the top of them and they snap on like that so they are really really nice but anyways, I just wanted to hop on here and show you these since I had them on. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and check in, get our groceries, and head home. back home I've got everything set up so I'm gonna go ahead and flip you around and show you everything that we got what is up with my hair this is what happens when you fall asleep with your hair wet but it's all right <laughs> so anyways these are the same glasses I just took my um, I guess the sun sunglass part off the little clip ones but this is what the second pair looks like so let's get into this grocery haul so I'm gonna go ahead and flip you around and show you everything that we got all right, so we got two gallons of whole milk. I got a thing of vanilla cannoli cream, latte creamer. Y'all, this is really good. Um, when they don't have my frosted sugar cookie, I go ahead and get this one. So then I got two things of the cinnamon rolls. They are actual rolls, not cinnamon biscuits. That's what we prefer. <clears throat> and then I got a four stick butter. 
So there's the butter. Excuse my son, he had to cough. <laughs> I got three packs of the thin sliced roast beef for copycat beef and cheddars for Arby's. Um, two triple cheddar cheese bags. One Mexican, or no, two Mexican four cheese um, bags. So I got four of those total. I got a pack of the sliced provolone. Um, those are going to be for homemade meatball subs. Um, some a guacamole for quesadilla night, which is what all this is for. <laughs> I got two, which was a substitution. I got one of the big ones. Um, but they gave me two of the smaller ones, so that's okay. For the heavy whipping cream. Crumbled feta cheese. That's what I eat on my meatball subs. I got two containers of strawberry cream cheese spread. I wanted the whipped kind. They didn't have it, so they subs... Subs... <laughs> they substituted me these, which is all right. We'll eat it. Um, two... Two two-pack bricks of cream cheese. Um, I thought I only ordered one, but I guess I didn't pay it close enough attention, but that's okay. I'll use it. So we got two of those. Then we got the traditional um, pulled rotisserie chicken. This is what I use in my quesadillas. It's easy, quick, chicken's already done, it's seasoned, you're good to go. Um, we got a thing of the old fashioned oats. We got a strawberries and cream and a blueberry and strawberry. Um, oatmeal for breakfast. We got two packs of baking soda because there's a smell in my husband's office. Um, I don't know if it's like hydraulic fluid or for parts. I don't know. Anywho, my husband's a welder and there's a smell in there. So I'm going to spray this all over the carpet and stuff in hopes to be able to get that smell out of there. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but anyways, I got a package of the Rotini because we're going to do homemade Alfredo and I wanted the garden rotini, the garden rotini, but they were out of it. So I got this. I got a 12 count of the donut shop, um, a box of the cheese sauce packets because, like I said, homemade beef and cheddars. And I'm just gonna do barbecue sauce since I don't have RB sauce, but it'll be fun. I got a loaf of white bread. This is the artisano, the sausage rolls. That's gonna be for our meatball subs. Um, two packs of the au jus gravy mix also for the beef and cheddars. We're just gonna put the roast beef into that and let it cook while I get everything else ready. These are the buns that I got for it because I could not find the onion rolls. So I figured these were the next best thing in my opinion. So we got an eight pack of those. Have y'all ever tried these? Are they good? Hopefully they are, but even if they aren't, we're gonna eat them. <laughs> But those are going to be for the beef and cheddars. And then I got a pack of the blueberry bagels. That's why I had the strawberry cream cheese. Back here we got some Duke's mayonnaise. Um, a thing of traditional Prego spaghetti sauce for the homemade meatball subs. A thing of mixed minced garlic. Back here we got some cinnamon donuts for an easy breakfast one morning. Um, thin sliced chicken breast for the homemade chicken alfredo. Two bags of the 90-10 ground beef so I can make my meatballs. And of course, y'all, we got some seasoned curly fries. We got two bags of those to have with our... <laughs> like I said, we got two packs of the seasoned curly fries. He's still back down there talking. Ugh, anyways, two bags of those. Um, Non-food, I got a thing of toothpicks. And I wanted just to get the refills, but they didn't have any. So I had to get a whole other container which is fine. Then I got some sinus medicine to keep on hand and the coracetin um, for my husband. And produce, not much this week, so we still have some on hand from Thanksgiving. But I did get some green onions um, to make another cheese ball. They looking a little rough, but that's all right because I only use part of it anyways and then I regrow mine. <laughs> and then I got three lemons for my sweet tea. And also, Walmart gave me a goodie bag this time, so let's see what's in that real quick. So, we got a sample of washing machine cleaner. Nice. What's this? Is this a sample? Hold on, guys. Sorry. I don't know if it's a sample or what it is. No, it's not. 
Oh, it's just wanting me to buy the sore throat mucinex cough drops, which I didn't even know they had. So that's interesting. And then I got a My Little Pony. I guess that's a wristband. You know, it looks like one of the most slap bracelets we used to have when I was younger. <laughs> I love those things, but we got in trouble in school. Mm. Anywho, we got one of those. Um, oh yes, don't open that, Leo. I might take it to give it to Lindsay's little girl. And then we got, oh, the buttermilk chicken ranch night. So we're going to make some chicken with that. So hopefully that'll be good. It's like a liquid. I didn't know that. No, it's not a liquid. What are you talking about? It's that air. <laughs> it's just a seasoning mix. So we're going to try that. And then we got a spurtle spatula, rubber spatula, whatever you want to call it. But got one of those. I think that was it besides some coupons down there. But y'all, <clears throat> let me stuff all this back down in that bag. That is all we got from Walmart besides my jacket. That's the jacket that I got. It's just a black puffer jacket. Um, it was $20. But anyways, this is just an overview of the grocery haul. And I think I spent right at or just a little over the 150, which isn't too bad considering I did get a jacket and, and some medicine. Y'all know medicine is crazy. But anyways, I think the total will be around here if not beforehand. So just look for that down there at the bottom as usual. And I hope you all have a great, wonderful, blessed week ahead of you all. But until next time, God bless. Say hi, Leo. <laughs> God bless. See y'all next time. Bye.